Welcome to another edition of the Dallas Mavericks Report. I'm Dwayne Price. Well, as you can see, everybody's gone home by now. As a matter of fact, some of them went home earlier tonight because the Dallas Mavericks, they were a no-show. They ended up losing to the Golden State Warriors 112 to 87. Third time the Mavericks have lost and their last three losses have been by 22 or more points. In other words, when they lose, they lose big. They don't make it close and it's unfortunate because they're still in this tight race for the eighth and final playoff spot in the Western Conference. The Mavericks are now 30 and 40 with 12 games to go, three games behind the Denver Nuggets for the eighth playoff spot, and it doesn't get any easier because this coming Thursday, the Los Angeles Clippers are coming to town, and after that, it's gonna be Toronto Raptors, and then the Oklahoma City Thunder before the Mavs go back out on the road again for a five-game road trip and it was just so, so disappointing for them to play like this tonight. And Steph Curry, like I said, they didn't need him that much. He scored 17 points, had five rebounds and nine assists. His brother, Seth Curry, had 10 points, three rebounds and four assists. So they didn't do anything spectacular, but unfortunately the Mavericks didn't win the game either. Dwayne, when you take a look at the stat sheet, unfortunately the Mavs actually came out strong in the first quarter, but they ended the game. I mean, it was ugly. I think the entire team was negative and the plus minuses. What did you see from your perspective? They just got flat out got beat. Transition defense, they wasn't shooting the ball well. Like you said, they went into the second quarter with a two point lead and everything looked good after that. I mean, at that point, and then from there, it's like they just fell asleep and got comfortable, but you can't get comfortable with the Warriors because they went to the NBA Finals this past season last season and won the title two years ago and right now they have the best record in the entire NBA and one of the favorites to win the title again this season so when you got a team like that a very good team you got to put your foot on your on the gas pedal and keep it on the gas pedal for 48 minutes if you let up just a little bit they're gonna run you down and run you over do you see any frustration on the part of even Rick and even the team where they want to win, but they're just struggling right now to, to make things work? Uh, what's the perspective from inside, what you've seen from inside the locker room? I, I think one of the things that's going on, they've had a lot of different lineups, a lot of different players in and out of on, in and out the roster this season, and they're still trying to find themselves. Uh, the owner, Mark Cuban, told me uh, this past Sunday in Brooklyn, that the Mavericks are looking for their identity. And here we are, 70 games into the season, and you're still looking for an identity? Well, right there, that's an identity crisis right there. And he said one of the identities that they need, they need to just outwork the other team, hustle all the time, and just play good defense and just play hard ball. And it's kind of hard to do that for 48 minutes, especially when your talent is not as good as the other team's talent, particularly a team like the Golden State Warriors. All right, this has been the Dallas Mavericks Report. I'm Dwayne Price.